back by popular demand is Mr. Hernandez, he is the guy that tells it as it is, even if people don't like what he has to say. Okay, what's new on the economic front, reality is hitting home hard, and this time there is nothing that can be done to prevent a dreadful depression, what do you mean by this time nothing can be done? Politicians have kept the Ponzi scheme going as long as they can, they have simply run out of bullets. Generation Snowflake is going to struggle with the economic depression. If you guys stopped watching so-called reality shows and taking selfies with your stupid expressions and instead focused on the important issues, maybe just maybe you would prepare for the tough times ahead. Go ahead and boo, most of you are just a load of wimps. Who cannot take criticism? To be honest you are not to blame, I blame the politically correct society, I blame the ultra-liberal culture who overprotect children, to the extent children today know their rights and play on it. I blame the parents who consider their children as friends and consider them precious, no wonder they are so screwed up. Wow, that's a rather hard assessment, I am not going to sugarcoat anything, it's a tough world out there and our children need to know that. Is there any hope you can give us? Longer term people will be more grounded, harsh reality will see to that. That's the good news, the bad news is, Generation Snowflake will have to realize their fairy tale lifestyle is over. I don't understand why you are so pessimistic about the economic future, the Dow Jones index is at a record high, I shall try to explain. Hands up in the audience who support austerity to help us balance the budget. As I thought very few people, hands up if you want to spend more on welfare, medicare and pensions. As I thought by far the majority of the audience, we want good news and do not want the harsh reality. Politicians for far too long have been making promises they cannot keep. They are upbeat by saying that better times are ahead, sorry to say they are not, much worse times are ahead, all the ducks are lining up. I still don't understand why you are so pessimistic when the stock markets are doing so well. It is simply propped up by debt. In the UK there is a trillion pound pension of deficit on the final salary schemes. In the UK it is proposed to reduce the interest rates to 0.25%. Recently in the UK it was admitted by the government that they could not reduce the deficit to zero by the end of their term in Parliament. They are blaming Brexit. How very convenient. The systemic problems were already in place a depression was going to happen anyway. Generation Snowflake, it is time to face reality.